Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, Scandivan. Now the spring sun has finally come back to Sweden and today we're going to show you how to build your own DIY sun or rain awning for around 50 euros. Let's get into it. Here we're looking at the ingredients list for this recipe. We have four multivan caravel roof track bolts. We have a cheap awning sale which we bought from Amazon. We have some tent poles and guy ropes. Links in the description. Let's stand on the step and take a look at the roof track. Here you can see the Volkswagen roof bar mounting track which is standard on multivan and caravel. At the rear of the vehicle you'll find an opening in the track. Place your bus box mount in the track and slide it forwards. Now you see the silver disc part. Screw that until it's tight. Now it's time to remove the awning from its packaging. But a quick tip from me, don't do this if it's a windy day because it's like a ship sail. Now of course you can start at the front of the vehicle but learn from my mistake. Take your bus box mount and move it all the way to the front of the track and start attaching it at the front. It will make it much easier to have the right tension on the sail later. Now you don't touch the silver part. Put the bolt through the eyelet on your awning and then reattach the black wing nut. Notice how the awning fabric is not yet tight along the roof line. This is why you should start at the front of the vehicle and adjust the position of the bolts to correspond to the eyelets behind them. Now we put the tent poles together, no tutorial needed. Here you see the awning attached to the side of the car. Notice that the sliding door is open and that the top of it is well below the line of the awning fabric. This means you can open and close the door without the fabric catching. Put the tent pole through the eyelet. Check. We won't mention the outtakes where it nearly stabbed me in the eye. Get one side tight and peg it into the ground firmly. Now I use my hand here because it's springtime and the ground is soft. But in future, take a hammer or use the back of an axe to hammer them to the ground. Time for the second one. Notice the angle of the tent pole leg makes like a triangle shape. We found this triangle shape makes it much more sturdier overall and less likely to blow down in high winds. And there you go. In less than 10 minutes, a simple sun and rain shade for your camping trip. Just don't forget to take it down before you drive away. If you like this video, please click subscribe to get notifications when we post our next video. And you can keep up to date on Volkswagen van life in the Nordics. Thanks for watching.